Hey guys, welcome back. It's Ashley coming at you with another do-it-yourself tutorial video. So in this video, I'm going to be recreating this entree piece and turning it into a coffee bar. So as you can see, this piece has a lot of scratches and nicks, and this was in my mother's storage unit forever. And she said that I could take it and redo it, so why not? So as you can see, this trim here is falling off and on the side of this piece, at the very bottom down here, it looks like some dog or something chewed on that piece. I don't know what happened there, but we're totally gonna have to fix that. So for prep work, all I did was use some soapy water and wash this down and I also used vinegar to get rid of that storage unit kind of smell that it had. Okay, now I'm just using the sander and I'm sanding the top. Now I did not have to do this because I was using chalk paint, but I did it because I actually stained the top a classic gray, but I'll talk more about that when we get to the painting clips. But I did make sure that I um, smoothed it out the bottom where it looked like a dog had chewed on it so that we can have a smooth surface for painting. All right, so now we're moving on to the painting. So what I'm using is Annie Sloan chalk paint and the color that I'm using is Old Orker. Now I'm using a chalk brush and I'm just doing my first coat of paint on the piece. As you can see the top there, it was supposed to be stained classic gray, but it was literally painted gray. If you watched my previous video, I talked about how I did not shake up the can and I was just using like the oils. And so when I used it again, I was just using the gray. So needless to say, classic gray is not my best friend. So as you can see here, I am showing you the first coat of paint that I did. I also blended this, um, the Annie Salone paint with Art Mines from Michaels in pure white. So what I did in the next couple of frames that I'm gonna show is how I blended the Art Mine with the Annie Salone chalk paint. I basically just took the Annie Salone paint and as you can see, I'm kind of blending it up. And then I take the white colored chalk paint and just blend it on top as you can see there. And I just continue to keep blending both and layering them on top of each other. Now we're gonna use our Gorilla Glue and I'm going to glue back on the trim that is coming off of this dresser. And basically I'm just smoothing it on there and then I'm gonna take my weight and leave it on there for about 30 minutes to dry. Okay, so in this next clip, I'm gonna be doing that same blending technique and I'm gonna first put on the white and then I'm gonna layer on top of it with the Annie Salone chalk paint. In this next clip, we're just measuring out the plywood that I purchased from Lowe's. It only cost about $6. And we're just going to cut it to size to fit in the drawer that I removed from the dresser. Now that we've measured out our first cut, we're simply gonna go to our table saw and cut it down to the size that we need. So now that we've done the first cut, we're just gonna place the plywood back into the bottom to make sure it fits. And then we're gonna go back to the table saw and we're gonna cut the remainder just so that we'll have that perfect fit. Okay, so we're sliding it in and uh, bam, a perfect fit. Now we're gonna move on to, again, using the Gorilla Glue and I'm going to put the glue in various places and then I'm gonna take, that's just a butter knife, and I'm spreading it around and putting um, the weights on so that we can leave that there to dry before we paint. So now that that's dried, I'm going to start painting the plywood so that it matches the rest of the dresser. And I'm going to be using that same technique with um, blending of the Art Mines chalk paint and the Annie Salone chalk paint. I'm also going to use my smaller paintbrush just to get these edges so that it blends in as well. So when we installed the hardware, we actually had to create new holes because the older holes were too close together. I didn't putty those up because the hardware actually covered them up. And here is the part that everyone has been waiting for, the reveal. So I did distress this piece. I used the same exact grit paper that I always do, which is the 220 grit paper. And I also sealed this piece with Annie Salone, just a clear wax. I also picked up this hardware from Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby gives me life, and number one, they always have a sale going on. Okay, so, 
I love how this piece turned out. It looks very, very good. I decided to kind of do it as like a coffee station. And I just wanted it to be like a simplistic kind of piece. So I didn't put that much um, decorations and stuff with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like and that you are following me. And thank you guys for watching.